Hello friends, this is Dr. Wiseva Harasu from IARB. Today we are going to discuss noise figure. What is noise figure and how to calculate the noise figure of cascaded networks. Okay, now coming to the topic, yeah, what is noise figure. In wireless communication systems, the noise figure or the noise factor is used to specify the performance of a radio receiver. The lower the value of the noise figure, the better the performance. So, how to calculate noise figure? Noise figure, which is equal to 10 log of F base 10. So, F is the noise factor. So, first you're going to calculate the noise factor, then, after you can find the noise figure. By using these parameters, we can judge the performance of a radio receiver. Why? The receiver receives a signal, not only the transfer signal, noise also adds up. So in this disturbance, the performance of a receiver is very, very important. Now, what is a noise factor? The so noise factor of an amplifier is defined in terms of S and R signal to noise ratio as F, which is equal to available signal to noise power ratio at the input to the available signal to noise power ratio at the output. So F, which is equal to PSI by PNI. So there is signal to noise power ratio at the input divided by PSO by PNO. That is the signal power to the noise power at the output. Okay. So by using these equations, we are going to find the noise. So, this is an amplifier. So, having a air side that is the power, signal power, which is becoming, and also we're having a, the noise that is a PNI, noise power, which is equal to KTP, and the output the amplifier, which is a PSO and a P and O. Already we see that. F, which is equal to so this uh, PS4 by PSI. Okay. So, by using this amplifier structure, we are now taking the cascaded. Okay. So, F, which is equal to PSI by PNI into PNI by PS4. Already know that too. PNI, which is equal to KTB. And after applying all these uh, terms, we can get F is equal to P naught by Z KTP. For this is a single amplifier. It's noise factor for a single amplifier case. When they are arranged a lot of in a cascade form, then what can do? So this one can see. Yeah. So this is a noise figure of cascaded networks or screen. So we are taken as uh, two amplifiers and they are connected to each other and the input is coming to the amplifier 1 and the output is taken as amplifier 2. Here we are taken as uh, only two, it may be more than two. Okay. So the available noise power at the output of amplifier 1 is uh, PN01 which is equal to F1Z1 KTP. Why PNI is the KTB, but uh, the gain of this amplifier which adds up. So you get uh, this PNI1 which is equal to F1 Z1 KTB. And 
and this is available to amplify too. Why? It is connected to second amplifier as the input. So amplifier 2 has a noise F2 minus 1 KTB. F1 input. Hence the total available noise power at the input of amplifier 2. Why? We are connected cascaded from the output of amplifier 1 is connected to the input of the amplifier 2. Now P and I2 that is uh, noise at the second the available noise power at the input of the amplifier 2 which is equal to F1 Z1 KTB plus F2 minus 1 KTB. Okay. Now if the gain of the amplifier is Z2 then the total noise power at the output of amplifier 2. Why every amplifier having gain? Already we seen that the first amplifier having gain is Z1 and the second amplifier is Z2. Now P and R2 is output to the total noise power at the output of the amplifier 2 is Z2, P and I2. So finally, this P0 2 which is equal to Z2 into F1 Z1 KGB plus F2 minus 1 KGB. So this is our P and not 2. So this is nothing but P and not 2. So the overall available power gain of the two amplifiers is Z or Z which is equal to G1 plus G1 into G2 and overall noise factor F is this one P0 which is equal to F Z KTB. Now we are going to equating these two equations. So what is the equation 1? To come back to this is equation 1 that is Z2 into F1 Z1 KTB plus F2 minus 1 KTB. So we are going to equating this equation 1 to equation 2. So here writing Z2 Z1 KTB plus plus F2 minus 1 KT which is equal to EFZ KTB. Once again, good check. Yeah. Z2 into F1 Z1 KTB plus F2 minus 1 KTB. So this is our equation 1 and equation 2. We are going to equate. So here we go to multiply inside this G2. Then we get F1, Z1, Z2, KTB and again Z2 into F2 minus 1 KTB which is equal to EFZ KTB. So now we can take in common this KTB. So taking common KTB what we get F1. Z1, Z2 plus Z2 into F2 minus 1 which is equal to AFZ KTB. Now this KTB, this KTB is going to cancel. What you get? This is AFZ which is equal to F1 into Z1, Z2 plus Z2 into F2 minus F1. Now we are going to substitute this G, the overall gain, which is equal to G1 into Z2. Okay. So in the right hand side we get to FZ. So in the place of Z, we will substitute Z1, Z2. And again, go to the right the side. Okay. So it is going to cancel 
Finally, what do you get? F equal to F1, Z1, Z2 plus Z2, F2 minus 1. So this uh, G1, Z2 is going to cancel. And here is Z1, Z2. So finally, what do you get? This is F1 plus F2 minus 1 into divided by Z1. The overall noise factor F which is equal to F1 plus F2 minus 1 divided by Z1. This is the noise factor. But our aim is to find a noise figure which is equal to 10 log is 10 into F. After calculating the noise factor, you substitute here, then you get the noise factor. Okay. Like, share and subscribe. Hit the bell icon for more updates.